Hello everybody and welcome back to my Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're jumping in again, going for more secret ultras as robot this time. We've got two to go for, and both of them seem super easy. Uh, this one is just be a skin and eat a golden weapon. Um, and this one is be a skin and eat a um, curse weapon. So, pretty simple. Pretty simple. I think we should be able to do that pretty easily. We can crown off the bat. Um, I guess we'll go with more curse chests. And then, yeah, we can... Eat a golden weapon. Um, can we not eat our starting golden weapon? Maybe uh, maybe we have to have another weapon before we can eat anything. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's been a little while since I've recorded Nuclear Throne. I've had quite a lot of a backlog for a while. So it's been a bit different. Uh, but now we can go and eat this. There you go. Secret skin unlocked. And I think that's our secret ultra unlocked. We have to obviously have to make it to ultra having done that now to unlock it. But that's that done. Um, and then we can do the same again in a moment. But I think this works out pretty well for us. I did take a bit of damage there, but Rhino skin will alleviate some of that. And there's our nice new skin look. I like that. Um, but I think now, actually, do you know what? Let's try and get to Ultra, but then I think we... I don't think we can do both in one run here. Um, because I need to be A skin when I do it, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to see. But let's try and reach Ultra. I'll eat a golden weapon when I get the opportunity. Um, in fact... We could just grab this and then eat that. And that might have worked, but we'll see. When we get to Ultra, we'll find out. But we are cursed right now, of course. And yeah, we'll just see if we can make it. Like I said, it's been a little while since I've played, so I might not be the best. It might take me a little a little bit of getting used to the game again to get back to that level where we can get to uh, Ultra pretty easily, but we shall see. I'm liking the fact that we've got so many cursed chests here. This is a lot. <laughs> a lot to go at. Heavy screwdriver I don't think I've seen before. It's certainly quite heavy too. Damn. Heavy screwdriver does some damage, man. Wow. Okay, heavy screwdriver is good stuff. Tough shell. Of course, we know how good that is. But having a melee weapon for some infinite ammo just in case is obviously rather useful. But god damn, do I, do I miss this game? It's only been a few weeks since I played because I've been on holiday and stuff. But it's, it's just one of those games that I absolutely adore. It just feels so good to play. We'll take the Splinter Maze here. I'm actually, I might have to go for the cursed, um, the cursed weapons more often, you know, because there's not really much of a downside when all your weapons are cursed, because you can keep swapping off of them easily. And there's some really goddamn good ones. Ooh, this is, this is definitely new. Serene Dreams. Um, get two orbiting crescent moons that deflect a limited amount of projectiles, recharges slowly while in combat. Moons can deal damage with Gamma Guts. I guess we'll take it, because that seems pretty interesting. I like that idea a lot. Okay, let's not get blasted by a car here. Good, good, good. Yeah, I kind of like it. And reflect some projectiles. I like the way that... I thought they'd like slowly orbit and around you, but they're actually kind of static and just in your face so that it'll block projectiles that are coming directly at you. We quite like that. We quite like that indeed. Super Splinter Gun. This is two of the same ammo, though. We don't want to be doing that. We don't want to be doing that. Okay, make our way through. I always forget we can't actually fully stop those, can we? Those projectiles don't work the same way. Quadruple flame shotgun seems like a fun one to grab. If not a little dangerous. But we do like a bit of danger where we're going. We do like a bit of danger. Our HP's looking real good right now as well, which we like. I think going for Ultra, we're in a good spot to uh, to get it. But we're leveling up reasonably quickly. Good. Someone did point out a few things in one of the most recent episodes about how I can get more rads early on. So I'll definitely be imploring some of those ideas at some point. One of them is, uh, I think it's like increased amount of chests, but you lose a weapon at the start of every stage. I think that's what it was, something along those lines. I think those ones are likely to be quite good. Okay, yeah, these these little moons are, are good stuff. I like it. Electro rifle. Eh, I'm not as interested in that. I'd rather go for a melee weapon right now. We got one dude that we left lying around over here somewhere. Hey, here you are. Get out of here. Is that not the only one? Oh, there's like a bunch of them back here. I think I just reflected that guy's... Uh, that guy's projectile back at him and instantly blew him up, which is pretty funny. Um, 
Hmm. Second stomach will go for now. Yeah, there's been a few updates since I last played as well. As the developer of this mod always does, there's about a thousand updates a week, so there's a lot to go out here. Get out of here, you two. These moons, these, these might be like a crazy good defense item. Okay, I think we're good. Yes, we are. Good, good, good. Um, shotgun shoulder seems pretty good in this scenario. Good stuff, yes. We are shredding, as we tend to do. As we tend to do. I love the way that it protects your back as well. It's nice. It's nice having that bit of protection on your back, also. Definitely need to swap this thing out. It's it's good, but it's falling off a little bit. It's honestly amazing. I really like this. Serene Dreams, is it called? I like it, the Serene Dreams. Okay, taking a bit too much damage here. Let's be careful. Bit too much damage. Well, our ammo situation's good though. I'm still absolutely fine on ammo, surprisingly. Wasn't expecting to be, but Blunter Bomb's another good one. Oh, the Serene Dreams also, when it blocks those red, sh uh, the purple shots or pink shots, we're gonna call them, it slows them down for a little bit as well, which is nice. All types are good. We are automatically eating the things we leave behind as a robot as well here, which helps in maintaining our health and ammo. That's not really what we're looking for there. Toxic cannon? Yeah, it's just not, like I said, it's just not really what we're looking for. Even though these guys are having a really hard time hitting me. Okay, good. And... Oh, we got one of these, okay. We'll go through here, why not? Lovely stuff. And I don't really know what to go for here. Probably Gamma Guts so our moons can actually do some damage. That seems pretty useful. We got an overheal there from eating as well, I think. Two shots there for that guy. You, oh, dude, can you just not be a dick? This guy's being a dick. There you go, we got him. We got him. We got him to, we, we persuaded him to stop. Kraken grenade launcher. That seems dangerous, but very good. We've decursed this as well now, which is good. Yeah, that seems really good. I like that. This seems very nice. Bit of nice AoE going on. We like that. Okay, we're making it there. Ooh, I kind of forgot we'd be going to cheese caves. Yeah, this has some really nice AoE on it. Just be careful of, obviously, it being an explosive. Blood Cannon Hyper Launcher Auto Seeker Shotgun. It's kind of not really what I was kind of looking for. Oh, I can't pick up this now. Damn it. Blood cannon. I'll take both of these. Why not? This is pretty good. You're just very ammo hungry is the only thing. We're getting a good amount of ammo out of stuff there. We got Gamma Guts, luckily. It kind of saved us a little bit there. I don't think I actually like the um, the Blood Cannon, you know. The Blood Cannon doesn't seem great. Hyperlodge. I think we're going to stick with the Kraken one, to be honest. Kraken one seems like the way to go here. 
Just because it's got that AoE to it. It's able to hit enemies that it doesn't even hit sort of thing. That wasn't great. We didn't, didn't get a lot out of that. Um, I think we'll go for scarier phase here. For some reason we're moving over to normal caves now, which I didn't know was a thing. That just fires too many shots to be ammo efficient. We're going to have a really rough time against the bat boss here if we don't get a lot more ammo soon. Yeah. <laughs> really, really rough time here. Bugger. Okay, we're probably dead here. It's all the webbing that's screwing me over right now. I just don't have the space to fucking move. I have a lightning hammer, but that's not really cutting it here, is it? I can't fucking get to him. This is a really annoying boss for melee, to be honest. I, I really kind of wish there wouldn't be bosses like this, where they're like, near impossible if you're melee only. Because, like, obviously I don't have a melee build right now, but sometimes you do. Oh, dude, the webbing is so fucking frustrating. Can't do anything. This guy needs to stop doing that attack as well because he keeps dodging all of my shots. This is well frustrating this. I'm going to die because of this bullshit. Man! That's some shit right there. That's some shit. <laughs> I'll go with the casting again. Man. That's some BS. That boss is so frustrating if you don't have range. Alright, at least we're through. <sighs> That's a bit of a frustrating way for our first run to die. I can't be... I can't lie. I just think that boss should have some sort of leeway for if you're a melee only build. And he doesn't. <laughs> it's really annoying. Right, tough shell again. We'll eat that up, become our cursed version of ourselves. We'll try that again. Try that again. I quite like quite like having all the cursed um, cursed weapons, but we might want to change ultra, um, not ultra crown, to try and get better, faster ultras. Just this, the cursed one we kind of need to take, so we get a guaranteed cursed weapon before we get ultra. You don't always get cursed weapons, they're not guaranteed by any means. Although actually, to be fair, there is a, a way to guarantee them, so it's not all bad. We can go down to that area, can't we, um, with the cursed skull. Let's take this. I thought this would make this fire more. Apparently not. I would have thought this counts as burst, but I guess it doesn't. We're making our way through pretty easily with this thing. This is a good starter weapon, to be honest. Got uh, one of these, lovely. Bayonet rifle. Oh, it charges, nice. I like that. Bit of the uh, bit of the old shotgun or bouncer bayonet rifle, even. I like this. Seems good. Maybe not the most ammo efficient thing we've ever picked up, but overall, it seems good. Um, open mind. It's good before this area. Yeah, this seems really, really good at securing an area. Really, really good. It's not actually that, that bad with ammo. I thought it'd be a lot worse. Yeah, I like this a lot. <laughs> this is my weapon. Uh, what, what should we go for here? Bloodlust seems good. You got that long melee spike, and you got the bouncy shots. Getting this with shotgun shoulders would be pretty nice. Also, we're destroying shots at the same time, too, which is nice. 
Yeah, this this thing might be one of my favorite weapons I've used in a, in a while. This is very good. Fire line is good stuff. We'll take a fire line. Fire line's actually really good for doing some big AOE shots. If we can find out where the goddamn enemies are. Yeah, you can just fire down a hallway and take out everything on that hallway. Without much worry. And that guy hit for 70 off the bat there. Okay. One last little fella over here. This is definitely a better build, I think. Mutations-wise, I'm not quite sure, but otherwise, I think we've got a better build of weapons to take this out. I can't believe it's making us go all the way back for what will be one tiny little fucking mutant fish boy. God damn it. All this way. Ah, oh, it's just one of you. God damn it. Why don't you pop up earlier? Right. Um... Trigger fingers is always good, but I think glass arm cannon is the way to go here. Look at that. That's just unbelievably good. Also, open mind mode to eat more weapons when we make our way through is kind of nice. Yeah, it's just the, the fire line is just so good for massive, massive AoE. It doesn't do the most damage in the world, but it does more than enough to get you by. To kill some of the basic enemies, and it just covers an area. And then we've got this to tide us off the other enemies. It's beautiful. It's a really good combo of stuff, this. Um, shotgun shoulders is something we were saying we wanted. Like, even, even the big boys, even the spider boys like that, I wasn't expecting to take them out that quickly. But you know how we do. Fire damage is really good. Hopefully we can find the new mutation that buffs fire damage. That'd be really good. There's a new mutation that buffs all elemental damage types. And it can create some pretty crazy builds. Stuff through here we go. Straight on through, I think. I could have switched over my uh, crown, to be honest. There, probably should have done. Ah, oh, we got this guy. Where's he popping down? Oh wow, he's dead already. He is dead already. Yeah, this is, this is quite the setup. I sure hope I don't fumble it too quickly. I'm making a bad play. Good. Get, I'd like to get some Rhino skin in the mix here. That would be a, a nice thing to tip this off as a, as a good run. Good. Okay. Fuck off with your bats, please. Get your bats out of here! There's so many of them! Oh my god! So annoying. There's more! How? Please fuck off! Okay, we're out of ammo on that bad boy. And of course we've got an enemy chilling up here somewhere. Oh man, I need to get extra feet more often. The webbing is so frustrating. Some levels are just way more than others too. Sometimes you come to this floor and there's like barely any webs. Other times it's like this where it's literally everywhere. Okay, cool. 
Good, good, good. Right. Uh, back muscle might be good. I think I'm going to take strong spirit though, just in case things go truly awry. I'll try and use the fire line here because I want to save my shotgun for this bad boy. Absolutely annihilated him this time. Absolutely annihilated him. Yeah, much better. Much, much better. We got this again, which is probably pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take that again. It was really, really good last time. My god. We got Doom Lobber. Doom Lobber's pretty good. Okay. One last stage to go and then the boss. And we're almost at Ultra. To take a fat L on some hits there. There's our ultra. Good, good. Here we go, we got it. Okay, so this is one of them. Cursed technology. Good, good. Install laser defense systems. Cursed pickups attack enemies. Eating cursed weapons overheals. Once per area when taking lethal damage, teleport away from enemies. Very, very nice. And we can slap Kraken on this as well, because why not? Beautiful. So that's one of them done. Next one, we need to just eat a golden weapon. Just to fire lasers randomly now, I think. Hello, hello, good sir. I've come to kill you. I think this thing having the fishtail for the extra charge is also making it really, really good. We gotta be close. There we go, we got it, we got it. Beautiful stuff. Nice easy one there. Fire line the hell out of him to start with. That damage stacking up. Good bit of ammo that I can't reach there, thank you game. Easy. Easy. Okay. I wonder how this thing's going to do on these areas. Yeah, I think the fish's tail, I didn't even realize I had it, is like making this thing like uber good. Because I'm able to charge it at twice the speed. Do you know what would be a cool, a cool idea for a mutation? A mutation that allows you to charge weapons that don't normally charge. Do you know how, like, the charge laser just allows you to, like, fire more lasers or, like, a higher damage laser? Like, the, the laser pistol is what I mean. Um, imagine if there was one that just let you charge normal guns. Because then it could work really well with this mutation. Nice. Red Scythe. Interesting idea for a, a weapon. Red Scythe. I like it. Tell you that for sure. It seems real goddamn good. You can shoot over walls as well, which is rather gnarly. 
Oh, we got the, the goddamn lollipop gun. I got the lollipop even does, but it's not as good as the red scythe. The red scythe is better. It's beautiful is what it is. Beautiful. Got a little laser defense system going. More overhealing and all sorts of jazz as well. Is this a maggot? It's a little maggot, isn't it? God damn it. It kind of knocks us back when we use this. Every time we use it, it knocks us back a bit. There's some overheal there. I like the amount of overheal we get. Another overheal there. Boss are dead. I like the bouncy shots on this thing as well. Having shotgun shoulders is pretty immense. But I think we're going to leave this run off here and try and lock the next Ultra Mutation. So we'll let something kill us. If it would like to. Would you like to kill us? Boom. Oh, it teleported us. Bouncer charge laser. Oh my god. Uh, some of the weapons in this game are beautiful. There you go. We'll restart it up. And this time we're going for golden weapons. So what was the what was the idea someone had? Uh let's have a look. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. No. Remove your secondary weapon when you go through the portal. More chests, slightly more weapon drops. That's the one. That's the one. Because basically that means more rad canisters with more chests. And it also means we can get more golden guns. So we need to eat this golden weapon. And become the golden version of ourselves. Dude, we get a lot more chests. Okay, this is... There's some good stuff. I like this. I should use this way more often. Thank you for letting me know about this. Um, and then off of the back of that, let's take... Honestly, I'm going to take the tail end again, because that, that just seems potential. Like, the potential for it is so high later on when you get the right weapons. But I think it's pretty top tier. Like Charge Burr, for example. Charge is faster. We lose our crossbow, but we keep that, that's fine. Inversion magnet we'll take for now. We can look for bolt marrow. The only thing is, it lets you charge faster, but it doesn't let you fire your next shot straight away, which is weird. Like, I'm trying to charge straight away with something, something sometimes it doesn't let like, Sometimes it does, but sometimes it doesn't. I'm supposed to be pressing it like a hair too quickly. Dude, this gives you so many more chests. This is wild. Um, scarier face, of course. Oh, I think I think the I think they nerfed uh, scarier face. It does, it still it still keeps on scaling, but not quite as crazily as it used to. It used to get absolutely wild. Okay. Right, do we get any explosive weapon in there? Technically, yes. Although I don't know how this will work. Let's have a little look around. Pizza time. 
Oh, here it is. Mood swing. Explosions burn. Fire spreads to nearby enemies. Tentacles and lightning stun. Stun enemies don't act or move. Frozen enemy breaks into icicles. Just amazing. I love the idea of this. I'm gonna have to take it just in case. Oh wait, I'll lose the uh, I'll lose the goddamn thingy when I change. I'll lose the screwdriver, won't I? Yeah, mood swing seems really cool. It's kind of half based on an idea I had, but also based on a bunch of ideas people have had. So it wasn't just me. I suppose what I could have done is thrown it. Oh, we didn't lose it. I guess that's like on purpose so we can utilize this. Oh, can the fish fuck off out of my face, please? God damn it. <laughs> that was really frustrating. I was trying to hit them, but obviously a charged bow is just not the not the right way. I maybe just shouldn't have been charging it and spam firing it instead, but that was well annoying. I was focusing so hard on trying to get those killed. I really hate that fish boss, man. He's so powerful. Right, just remember to eat this up. I'll take a bounce across bow and eat this bad boy up. Okay, uh, take Mood Swing again here. We like the Mood Swing, if we can play into it. I'll certainly try to. With this being a bouncer. Dude, this is amazing. Thank you for whoever suggested this to me, because goddamn, this is crazy good. Um, trigger fingers, yes please, with a weapon like this is goddamn good. Good. Amazing. The bouncer is very good here. But I like the way it can't take the golden screwdriver off you. That's a really good bit of design, like, forethought there. That I wouldn't have expected there to be. Where's all our chests at? <laughs> Found one. Another rad canister. Lovely. Double flame shotgun. We have mood swings, so we have to take that. We got to keep them both again. Maybe it's just when moving between these stages you get to keep them. Um, Yeah, it must be. Yeah, fire burns, I believe, is the uh, thing that we get for this one. So when a fire when a fire bullet hits an enemy, it like lingers some fire damage on them for a bit. What we got here? Bouncer plasma rifle. Not that that'll be useful for long. Okay, it's not taking it away anymore for some reason. Strange. Did not see that flame there. Oh man. I like this. Mood swing is going to be something that I take literally every time. I really want to get a Kraken build going with it as well. I think that'd be very fun. Is it. Do the fires explode as well? Or does it explode? I don't know. I can't remember which one it is now. Is it because I have two cursed weapons that it can't eat one? It might be that I have two cursed weapons. Let's uncurse both of them. There you go. Oh, and I lost the wrong one. I'm stupid. My bad. 
But yeah, it just can't take Chaos Weapons, which is interesting. It's kind of good to know. Isn't the really weapon I wanted, and obviously I'm no longer dealing fire damage now, so that's not ideal. I don't even know what I've got here. There's a frost weapon. The frost apparently is very good, so I'm intrigued by that. Yeah, apparently the icicles could do some real gnarly stuff. I'd like to see that happen. Um, Rhino skin? Yeah, why not? Yeah, apparently the chain reactions off of the icicles gets a bit nutty. You can see them all popping off. And it can refreeze as well to create like freezing chains. Which I also like the idea of quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, this is good. <laughs> this is good. There's an inverted area here. Don't think I'm going to take the inverted area to be honest. Cool. We're through. Um, I don't really know what I want to take here. Puffy Cheeks is intriguing. Yeah, just keep freezing. Just keep freezing. Oh my god, dude. Look at that damage. Wow. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. This is the, the first of the sort of hard areas because of the boss. Yes, this is amazing. Oh, man. Freezing weapons were already very good. Also, another thing, Mood Swing is going to help to make uh, weapon modifiers even better, which I really like the idea of. If you have, like, the Kraken modifier or the Fire modifier, it makes those more fun and more of a reason to seek them out, too. I think that's a really good idea. I think the Icicles are destroying pieces of ter uh, terrain. Yeah, they are is quite nice. What you got there? Is that a bouncer bazooka? Don't think that's the smartest of decisions really, is it? Uh, we'll take swarm on this, I think. Thank you. I guess we'll take the energy hammer just to be eaten. If you're sort of person that only cares for one sticking with one gun, or if you've already got a really good gun, a really good way to play. You you didn't fall as quickly as I was as I was hoping you would. Luckily, the freezing should do a good bit of damage to to this guy. He doesn't have a lot of health. I think we got him. Yes, we did. Oh my god, the chain reactions. Oh, I'm destroying pieces of terrain because I've got, uh, what's it called, where it launches them on death. I forgot about that. This, this might be the best crown that I've never used. I, I need to use this way more often. This crown is incredible. I don't care about no secondary weapon. Um, Ecstatic Fists is real good. I think Ecstatic Fists should have some synergy with, uh, maximum HP. Like, that, it should be 35% at 8 hit max HP. But the more max HP you have, the more damage it gives you. Or maybe it should be 25% by default and go up to 35 when you have up to 12 HP or something. Just to make it a little more, like, useful to have more max HP with it. Although that would make melting pretty pretty terrible with it, I guess. <laughs> but that's, like, that's somewhat of a problem. Okay, we're level 9 already. I think we'll take scarier phase here. Right, the bat boss should be fine for us here. As long as we can get rid of all these other bats. Nicely as well when we're pushing bodies around, we're clearing out a, a big fat area for us to fight in. 
Dude, this is a really stacked area. Oh shit, we're almost out of ammo. Really, the boss arrives now? We've just run out of ammo. Okay, so I think we're fucked here. And by fucked, I mean we're definitely fucked. God damn it, why do I waste all my goddamn ammo being a doofus? Right, try that again. That was really stupid of me. I did not realize how much... like Because I'd not run out of ammo up until that point. I didn't realize just how much ammo I was using. Old rifle's new, I think. A little bit of recoil on it. I like it. Uh, I would very much like my pop gun, please. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to take Bolt Marrow. I'd like to try and get a, a some sort of bolty synergy going on. Some sort of bolty synergy would be quite nice. This is definitely the way to go when doing a challenge like this. This is the way to go when playing normally, I think. You have so much more choice of good weapons. I think I saw a Brett bounce a crossbow then and just didn't take it. My bad. But as robot especially, it's even better because we're just munching on everything. Good old double pop gun. We like that. We plow through the level like that. It's just nice that we can speed through these early levels and get a level up. It's just annoying that I can't... I'm, so, I'm getting so close to Ultra. I'm not quite making it all the way. Just gimme. Gimme the Ultra. Wrong direction. Wrong direction is potentially a good idea. Orbiter? Okay. Orbiter's fine. We'll take wrong direction. Try that out. Um, Eagle Eyes does make wrong direction better, so I'll take it. A little bit tough to use in certain areas. We do have Bolt Marrow, don't we? Yes, we do. Not homing as, as, as harshly as I thought it would. But this is like a heavy crossbow that fires more than one projectile. You just gotta get used to how it aims. Which isn't actually that hard with Bolt Marrow. You don't have to be super duper accurate. It only uses one ammo per shot as well, which is kind of wild. Um, absorbing pause is always decent. We'll take that. Keep on it with all of that. Good, good. Some more rads there, baby. Yeah, this is this is gonna be pretty good. I wonder if we can get another accuracy increase on top of this. Probably right, probably. good. Ooh, frost weapon. Uh, I still think I want to go with the, uh, the wrong direction, to be honest. Okay, let us through. Thank you. Level 6 already. Things are going well. Um, and more rads when eating weapons. Does that mean we get rads at the end of the stage? I think it does, although I think trigger fingers with this weapon particularly would be quite good. Being able to fire this a bit faster is going to be nice, considering it's got pretty slow fire rate. It's, it's really weird. It feels really wonky playing like this, but it's also very satisfying to hit enemies with this really high damage arrow that's really skew if. <laughs> I think we can actually hit with both. Ah, you... I was like, if we play our cards right, yeah, we can, but that's going to hurt, <laughs> you moron. I didn't think the explosion, like, set off immediately. I thought I could, like, set the explosion going and then run away sort of thing. Triple blood rifle, we'll take that. Ammo consumption on it will be heavy, but I think overall it'll be a good weapon to use. 
especially with that. Oh, there's some weapons in the wall there. Do you know what? I'll go through here, why not? Didn't mean to go straight through there. Probably could have got a little bit more at that stage if I'd have played that a little bit better. It should be good for taking out all the fish though here. There we go. And... Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, I love this area. I forget how much I love this uh, inverted area. It's so goddamn cool. Honestly, a blood weapon is so valuable here. It's unreal. This area has a lot of these toxic chests. Are these, like, are these toxic chests the only ones like this? It took a while to die there, my friend. Come on. Okay, it's fine. We can leave. <laughs> he was annoying me. Um... I don't actually know what to go for here. Probably just go for some protection. Careful of the poison we kill things, but otherwise we're able to get, garner quite a lot of extra rads in this stage. God, the rads are bad. Also, these flamethrower dudes, or ice throwers, whatever you want to call them, of course, pretty annoying. Ah, we're about to run out of ammo here. I just about to say, I doubt any of you decide to drop ammo, do you? No. Nah. Nah. Oh my god, this is fucking horrible. Chill out with the fish, my guy. You're insatiable, you bastard. This is nuts. How How is this boss real? How is this boss not fucking dead? Boss is absurd. This is just too- it's just too much. I, I, I literally don't have the ammo to keep up. The actual F. I'm sorry, but come on now. That is absolutely ridiculous. Right, one more go. We're giving it one more go. Man, that's that's obscene. That that boss needs to change. There there is very very little I ever complain about with this mod because it is it is very good. But I have asked for that boss to be changed time and time again, and it never gets changed, and it upsets me. It's so bullshit. It's so bullshit. It's just way too over. Is it? Okay, go, I give give me bomb arrow. Good. Way too over the top. Like, even with a weapon like that that fires out, like, a triple shot of, like, hundreds of rounds every couple of seconds, still can't even remotely keep up. Oh, I didn't want to go through there. God damn it. Spawned it right in front of me. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what you guys think, but yeah, for me, it's just silly. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to spawn that many toxic throwing fish. Like, it's not even safe to kill them. I love the micro weapons. They're very good. Um, take rhino skin here. We do have the Herming Bouncer crossbow right now, which is a pretty goddamn good combo. Mini Plasma Shotgun. Okay, he's over there. I see him, I see him. Didn't get any red canisters to stage though, did we? Oh, there you go, that's why. Right over here. Good stuff. Level four. Um, let's go with throwing book. Try and get more rads from eating weapons at the end of each stage. Explosive crossbow, I think, is the next step up for us here. 
Got to not explode myself. Is that it? A very fast stage if it was. Okay, no, apparently there's something over here. Okay. Yeah, explosive crossbow is going to be really, really good here. We've got to be careful. Um, I think we still have a scarier face here. <laughs> Just exploding a bunch of things that I can't even see. Beautiful. Don't. I said, don't you dare touch my ammo, big boy. Don't even think about it. I accidentally destroyed that. Bit of a shame. Overall, it's fine, though. Just gotta be very aware of where my crossbows actually land. I'm missing out on some rads from enemies we're killing at a distance here. Isn't ideal. Overall, I think it's fine. And we get more rad canisters. Come on, no level 6 yet. Maybe I'll have to manually eat the guns to get more rads. I don't know. I just don't really like doing that. I think it's tedious. Even though it's effective. Like, as a robot, I shouldn't be dying as much as I am when I can eat weapons, but I'm just lazy. The explosion got me there. There's a crow down here somewhere. There he is. Or oh, shouldn't be a problem for this distance. Okay. All good on that front. Right, so if we go over here. And we go... I mean, super crossbow. We are getting rads out of doing that. So I guess it's worth it. I guess it's worth it. Um... I'll find saliva is pretty good. We'll take that. God damn. This is a pretty good setup for this level, to be honest. Oh my god, look at it. Just demolishing everything, even if we can't see it. A triple flame shotgun sounds pretty saucy. But this, I can't deny this. It's just too good. Okay, we're level 7 now. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? It does give us a little bit of rads, but honestly the rads just isn't, isn't much at all. Comparatively to just like clearing a stage quickly. Um... Hypersomnia could be good here. I see you there. Gotta be nearly done with this guy. Kind of a longer boss fight here. There you go, we got it. Like the way it fills up your ammo as you leave though, that's good. Yeah, this is kind of why I wanted Hypersomnia, to be able to walk into a stage a little more comfortably. It's not the longest of a, sort of a cooldown on the enemies, but it does help. Okay. That was close to me hitting myself there. Put a few rad canisters here. Infinity Revolver, Quadruple Flame Director Shotgun. Gap name. You definitely use some other stuff now. Because it's not cutting it to kill the big spider dro droids in one hit, which obviously isn't like the true mark of like it not being strong enough, but it could be better. Especially with bolt weapons, with bolt marrow. Some that can insta kill pretty much anything, including some bosses. Okay, we got one of the golden spider droids over here as well. He's got to go. 
big Kraken gun we do like. What's the big Kraken gun like, actually? It's tempting. It's certainly tempting. It's not good enough, though, I don't think. Okay, through we go. Um, trigger fingers, I think, is going to be really good here with the slow fire rate of this crossbow. Okay, killed him pretty quick. Did waste my alkaline saliva on him fairly early on the stage, though. Yeah, this is a much this is much better with the trigger fingers, to be honest. Are they both mimics? That was horrible. Both of them were mimics. I wonder if it's just like a spawn thing where if one of them's a mimic, both of them will be. Or if that was just bad luck. I like the bats not moving. The bats not moving at the start of the stage is truly a blessing because they are so goddamn annoying. Look at them. Get out my face. Even with Herming, they're a pain in the ass. Yeah, we're closer done here. There we go. Good bit of ammo there. Absorbing paws could be good here. Aha! Being able to see it sleeping is uh, quite useful. Didn't even think about that for Mimics. If a Mimic is sleeping, it shows us it's an enemy straight away. I quite like that. Get out of here, you. This attack looks really daunting, but it's not that bad. It's just annoying when he does it like that, where he does it like six times in a goddamn row. Come on, you've got to be close to dead already. Stop doing it multiple times in a row, you dick. There you go. Okay, a little more annoying, but we're good. We're almost at level 10 here. Let's just play it cautious. Alright, one, two... Three, four, five. The fact that it's five shots to kill one of those guys really isn't great. It's the best we're going to get. Luckily, these cube guys... A lot of the enemies in this area just aren't that aggressive, so it doesn't matter. Oh, we're almost running out of ammo again, though, here. Where's this? There's, there's, a, there's an IDPD somewhere around here. I can't find him. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Yes! Finally! Oh my god. Holding only one weapon will increase your damage dealt to enemies by 20%, return 10% ammo rads upon firing, and 50% real seed and plus 4 maximum HP. Well, that works out fantastically for the um, the thingy that we're using here, the crown. That works out fantastically. Now, HP is beautiful. This this might be like one of the better builds for like looping with this mutation. But now I don't care if I die. I've achieved my goal. Explosive flail. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Let's go. This has been a wild ride so far. Let's see if we can kill this crown. This crown? This throne.
timing the, uh, the hits just right so he can't hit me. Perfect, we got him. That's another two Ultras unlocked, baby. And we'll be going for more as we carry on here. This is like one of the longest Nuclear Throne episodes I've done in a while. I don't often... Normally, like, 35 minutes is kind of, like, my limit for Nuclear Throne just because of how quick the runs are. But this one just, just went. It just went on and on. This weapon isn't very good. Ooh. Super Needle here is pretty interesting. I can't really see much damage it's doing. Not a whole hell of a lot, I don't think. You're not dead yet. Got to chill out, my guy. There you go. Took you long enough. Got there in the end. This is where this weapon excels. On bosses, it's not so good, but firing it into a bunch of normal enemies, pretty goddamn good. Ah, we died anyways. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed that. Another two Ultras unlocked, and I'll see you guys in the next one.